A new report released today is shining a light on the challenges faced by those who identify as LGBTQ plus when it comes to cancer prevention and treatment. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has more on the research and why the American Cancer Society says this population is likely at higher risk for cancer. In what it calls a first of its kind study, the American Cancer Society compiled cancer statistics specifically for those who identify as LGBTQ+. We don't really have information about morbidity and mortality for the LGBTQ positive population because it's not captured that way. You know, we don't have sexual preferences or sexual identity you know, captured in any cancer mortality data. But researchers were able to ascertain cancer risk for this community and found LGBTQ plus individuals are likely at higher risk for cancer due to their fear of being turned away from care and discrimination within the healthcare community. The researchers say 30% of medical students surveyed say they are not comfortable treating transgender patients. In some states that healthcare providers uh, based on what's broadly described as religious or personal preferences can actually refuse to see certain populations, which for us is, is really a, um, you know, horrifying thought. Researchers say LGBTQ plus individuals in the U.S. are also more likely to smoke, have excess body weight, and use alcohol heavily, which also adds to their cancer risk. Our hope is this will really, you know, increase a greater understanding and a real greater ability to, uh, you know, target areas of prevention and screening. For Health Minute, I'm Andy Gaither. Well, we have been continuing.